Warg. I'm actually still kind of groggy, even though I had a pretty decent night's sleep last night. Also, I am still feeling kind of lazy, and because it's actually pretty hot outside now, or it will be in a couple hours, it's supposed to be like 95 today. Uh, I can't really go out for a walk. Yeah. In fact, I just realized, I think I'm supposed to exercise today. I think my body's still a little sore, though. Uh, so I'll probably just wait till tomorrow, because I did work out pretty hard. Well, you know, I shouldn't do that. Let me actually get my weight so I don't forget. But for the most part, uh, even though cryptocurrency, no, hold on. Even though for the most part, cryptocurrencies are uh, doing better. Uh, well, right now, I mean, the market's kind of trying to figure out what they want to do. You know, stocks are pulling back. Uh, you know, debt market is still selling off, right? And then look at the futures. You know, it's actually down uh, almost a percent, but it's, but, but it's getting there. But that's because we've had literally like the past few trading sessions where we just went straight up. So I mean, there, a pullback was you know, you know, uh, you know, inevitable. But the important thing is, and yeah, headlines like that don't help. Yeah, and the important thing is, you just look at the ten-year yield, right? But the U.S. bond market in general, I mean, just look at it all just sell off, right? And not surprisingly, it was selling off, and of course, cryptocurrency surged. So. Works up for me today, so it works out for me because today I want to take profit on one of my spider calls and then convert that into like two months spider calls that are cheaper, obviously. I want to try and see if I can actually make something like that work and then just try to multiply my money in the stock market because as, not, as much as I like crypto, it's obviously very volatile. And of course, you know, you're going to invest in a project eventually that fails or rug pulls. So, you know, I need some more stability. All right. So that's that's what I'm looking at. So again, uh, I took a quick look at this project. I forgot which of the YouTube sources uh, pushed this project. Murdoch hasn't posted any new videos in a while, so I think he only does paid videos. Otherwise, he doesn't do anything. Uh, for the most part, though, there's really not much to say about this project. There doesn't seem to be a tax. There's um, not a lot of money in the Phantom contract. And I don't know, my... This thing loads slowly, but that's because I think they're using a very high resolution picture in the background. Or all of this is like a picture or something. Okay, I can select this text. So, you know, it's loading a little slow. But, I mean, it pays per, a 10% a day. And you can see on the lower right cor corner, there's only 58 people. Yeah, it's on Phantom, so. Uh, I don't know. Do they even have, like, socials? Okay, they have two telegrams for some reason, which they should not do. They have an Instagram. They do have a Twitter. And that's pretty much it. Alright, well, they did not buy fake followers, so I guess that's good. Uh, hmm, their Twitter is not really that active. Uh, is there already the probably recorded that kind of says that if you see this message, you're going to invest with good marketing, blah, blah, blah. I mean, this was a couple days ago, so they didn't really do much marketing. I saw it on, like, one YouTube channel, so that's really all they did. But, I mean, they're supposedly going to go, like, different chains. I mean, the like, camera's blocking it a little bit. But you got Polygon soon, Binance Coin, and Binance Dollar. Now, when I click these, it just says, you know, uh, coming soon. Oh, also, AVAX is coming soon as well. So, to be honest... I'm getting the vibe that this might be those Paramount Staker people, right? And if it is, we know that they're, uh, you know, spamming, degenerate, toxic assholes. So that's my only concern about this project. Well, aside from the fact that since there's no tax on this, I mean, the contract's going to drain pretty quickly. So, but with that being said, Paramount Finance does have a lot of spammers and a lot of fake followers and stuff. This project does not have any of that. Right? I guess we'll find out. If I actually see that there's a lot of spammers in the comments, I'm not going to change the description or whatever, but I'm going to... Like I'll probably write like a pinned comment saying, hey, this thing is starting to look a lot like those Paramount Staker scammers, so, you know, make sure you block them all <laughs> kind of thing. So I'm kind of hoping it's not that. But, you know, with that being said, 
Actually, I'm really curious. What is their Instagram? Oh, what do you even put on your Instagram, to be honest? Yeah, see, this actually looks pretty good. This actually looks really good. So they definitely spent a lot of money on uh, on graphic design. Uh, I, I guess. I guess that's better than nothing. Alright. I mean, let me see. Hmm... Yeah, I mean, there's not really much more to say. I mean, it's before 9 o'clock, or 9.30. I want to try to finish everything before uh, I get started for trading today. So, I'll see you in the next video. It's going to be, I think, a crops farmer fork. I can't see anything until I connect the wallet, so I'm hoping it'll actually tell me all the info. So, I'll see you next video. Like, subscribe, share, share this video around. I guess I said the word video too many times. Thank you again to all the old and new people watching this channel, and of course, I rely on you to, uh, you know, spread the word and help grow this channel, because obviously, without you, you know, well, there's no point, there's no point in me doing any of these videos, right? And I do this for free, so, you know, whatchamacallit, you know, some pro a lot of pro like, if all you did was just simply follow the projects that I do, and then... Bet a fixed amount of money, not all your money, like the idiot commenter that was bitching about uh, lock pay, because it sounded like he put all his money into lock pay, like a stupid idiot, all right? And we all done it. I know I, right? I've just done it recently in Metaverse Pro. It's like, yeah, you know, you, you, you come out all right. And of course, you got to withdraw money every day, right? You know, if you play greedy, you know, it's going to be like StarCraft, right? Or Age of Empires, right? Eventually, you're going to get rushed, and then you're not, not, you're not going to have a military, and then all your workers die. All right? That's exactly what this is. When you pull profit, it's like training troops or something. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a rough analogy, but the point is you get punished for playing greedy, and then you succeed. You have, you have a better, much better chance of winning the game when you pull profit, right? When you start taking that money, and instead of reinvesting it, you know, you pull the profit instead, right? Because remember... It's starting to, I mean, very much I've already made up my mind, right? It's, crypto is pretty much tied to the stock market now, because now cryptocurrencies, as the market cap right now is very much tied to the U.S. debt market, and really the debt market in general. So I know Greg Manorino says that he thinks when this, when this thing really does sell off and it's the big crash, right? Uh, he thinks crypto is going to go up along with commodities and stocks will go down. And I think real estate will probably go down too because real estate is actually interest rate sensitive. No one's going to buy real estate when the, you know, 30-year interest rate is like, you know, 10, 20%. I mean, forget about it. Like cash becomes king at that point. So I'm still like, I'm not like more like 60, 40 that crypto is going to crash too. But I mean, we're just going to have to see. I mean, it's, it's just very difficult. It's just very difficult. So anyway, there's not a lot of TVL in this thingy majig, right? Uh, baseball farm. But, I mean, it's like an okay amount of Phantom, you know? So it's a small-scale project. Maybe you want to play it. Yeah. But, I mean, it just does look like just your standard, you know, uh, minor project. So anyway, check out Baseball Farm. I didn't realize that I was actually ending the video and then I went off on a different ramble. I mean, I just got so much stuff floating around in my head, so. Alright, let's keep the video short. I'll see you next video. Thanks.